all living beings have a body structure that will enable them to continue their lives in the environment in which they are located. A fox living in the forest and a fox living in the poles have different body structures. Similarly, a rabbit living in the forest and a rabbit living in the poles have different body structures. Many living beings like them were created according to the environment in which they are located. Among those living beings have different body structures despite having the same name. We will examine the polar bear. A bear living in the poles has a different body structure from a bear living in the forest. Polar bears have the body and organs that enable them to survive in the cold environment covered with glaciers. So, how do polar bears survive in this freezing cold in the pole? The fur that looks white when we look from the outside is actually transparent. This special fur, which is five centimeters thick, prevents heat loss while transmitting the heat from the sun rays down to the black hairs below. Under this fur is a 10 centimeter thick layer of fat that protects it from cold. This fur is also a perfect diving suit for the polar bear. When it enters water, the hairs stick together and turn into a form of protective clothing that is virtually waterproof. The polar bear always preserves the 37 degree body temperature both on and in the water. Polar bears can cover a distance of 100 kilometers per hour on ice without taking a break. So how do polar bears walk so easily and without slipping on ice? The reason for this is that the feet easily grasp the ice surface like a vacuum. For the grooves between the toes grasp the ice surface with vacuum effect. A web-like structure between the fingers also enables the bear to swim in the water with a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. Now we ask after this information, how can a bear living in the poles have different characteristics from a bear living in the forest? What tailor sewed this perfect fur, which is transparent in the face of the freezing cold of the poles, which prevents heat loss and transmits the heat from the sun rays down to the black hairs below. It is not only the fur that protects it from cold. Who placed the 10 centimeter thick layer of protective fat on its body, protecting it from cold under its fur? Who added the properties that protect the polar bear from the cold on ice to this fur? which is transformed into a virtually protective diving suit when it enters water. Who placed the grooves that serve as a vacuum on their feet and that enable it to walk and run easily without slipping on the ice surface? Who placed a web-like structure between his fingers so that it could easily swim in water? We address those who do not accept the existence of Allah and attribute everything to causes, coincidence, chance, and evolution. It is possible to have these deeds, which show wisdom, benefit, mercy, precaution, and education, only by having attributes like life, knowledge, will, and power. However, the causes put forward by those who do not accept Allah lack those attributes. It is not possible for unconscious atoms to come together and form conscious beings, and for lifeless causes to come together and create a living being on their own. It is unreasonable and illogical that the atoms that form this polar bear came together and gave the polar bear the body and organs that would live in the glaciers just like this polar bear, all beings state clearly with the language of wisdom and compassion, precaution and education, that it is Allah who has endless mercy, knowledge, will and power that created them. And they tell us about Allah, their creator.